Hey guys, Thunderset here, and we're bringing you a very popular, very strong archetype. That's Shiranui. They've been around for a while now, and we're going free to play. So, like I said, they've been around a while now. So, realistically, you're gonna have more copies of Squire, more copies of Solitaire, things like that, most likely. But even if you have just one, you can run a deck similar to this and make some things work out. So we're relying on this with Tatsu Necro. Other new cards we're using are the new Shirinui support in Ghost Meets Girl and Shirinui style Solnidity. So let's go over what Ghost Meets Girl does, it's pretty good. If your opponent controls a monster, discard one zombie monster, which is most of our, I think all of our cards. And, uh, or is he? Yeah, they're all zombies, so it works with all your monsters. You cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters for the rest of this turn. You'll special summon one sheer new monster from a different, or from your deck with a different name than the one you sent to the graveyard. So some of these aren't even sheer new monsters. You'll be able to discard them. Works out pretty well with this card, and it's a quick play card, so it's a very strong card. This card will pose as the field spell, but it's just a continuous spell. And uh, you can banish one zombie type monster from your graveyard, and then your normal summons or special summons of zombie type monsters can't be negated. Not really useful for its effect, but just useful to banish a card when you need to. Or you can target one zombie monster you control, banish it, send one zombie monster with zero defense from your deck to the graveyard. It's pretty good for floodgates if your field's crammed or something. You can banish a monster that's floodgated and then just continue on with your plays. Also a very good spell. And like I said, it poses as the field spell, which we are also marking in there. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then activate one of these. You target a zombie with zero defense, special summon it, or you target one of your banished zombies with zero defense, return it to the graveyard. You can only do one of those per turn. And like it says, you can't have monsters, so it's a little situational, but it's still worth one of our slots. Then we're using some trap cards in Belisa Squad that will get rid of one of our monsters, hopefully a tuner, and then destroy a card. We're also using Countergate. You can get this from a Legendary Duelist, and that's uh, pretty good. Helps you with some draw power, helps you summon a monster. We're also using one Synchro Spirit. It's kind of hard to really match the timing with this card in this deck, because uh, a lot of times you're banishing all sorts of monsters to different areas, and this card requires all the Synchro material to be in the graveyard. So you gotta really know when to use this card, and Miracle's Wake, very useful card. Even if you use Miracle Wakes on, let's say, a Sun Saga after he's been destroyed, say you let him get destroyed by battle, you can special summon him and he'll destroy another card on that special summon. Very good card. And we also have Hollowed Life Barrier, just another way to get, let's say, a tuner in the graveyard and protect some monsters at the same time. Very cool stuff. And last but not least, we snuck in one of each Mayakashi in our Daki and our Return. Think of Return as just another copy of Daki, essentially. Now, that allows us to run some different monsters with our level AUG. Keep in mind we have some 3 tuners, we have some 2 tuners. So we can make 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys. Each one of those we're able to make it with level AUG. We're able to make it with all sorts of different combos. It's a very very useful extra deck. It's just weird guys because the free to play version of this really makes you have to think way harder about your plays. You have to be better at Shiranui than playing the optimized version really. You gotta really know your plays, so uh, it makes for a fun deck. Still competitive. Try it out if you guys do it. There's so much support for Shiranui. There's even more I left out that works with zombies, so there's plenty and plenty of ways to do a free-to-play Shiranui deck in this new Grand Tournament preliminary, so try it out guys. It'll go great. Let me know how it goes, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are fighting a Yami Bakura. Going second. Our boy's using balance but has no extra deck. Very interesting. So we're starting with the Samurai Solitaire and our level 3 tuner. Now we have our level 2 tuner. We set a counter gate. We use Solitaire to special summon our Mayakashi. Do 1000. Our opponent passes his turn once again. He did have a delay, I believe. So we're gonna normal summon our Samurai Saga. Level Og, five into nine. That brings out our Mayakashi monster, guys, which means 
that's going to special summon our Docky. We could go 11 into our Star Eater, but I wanted, I was assuming some sort of Spirit Karibo, but uh, we'll go this way. So we hit him for just a thousand, it's a Kyroid. Sets two. Now we're going to go with our Star Eater, now that he has all that back row. I'm sure one of them is a Battle Trap. Now we normal summon our Squire Saga, with, or Squire, with plenty of room. Special summon our three to make our Squire Saga. Now we're going to get popping on the back row. Our opponent's going to use uh, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole, which is going to stop and destroy her for activating her effect. But we still have the big boy Star Eater to break up that last instance of Kiteroid. Another turn for our opponent. He's going to soul release all our monsters, which isn't a too huge of a deal. And it's going to trigger our Samurai's effect to give us our Squire Saga. Oh, we actually choose the Solitaire over the Squire Saga. Now we're going to Hollow Life Barrier, throw away our Spectral Sword just to get more Synchros going. Here comes the Spectral Sword. Straight into a Samurai Saga. Now we throw away what we just drew. Bring out our Solitaire into another Tuner. Probably a little bit of overkill, didn't really need to go into this Shogun Saga because the Samurai Saga was also lethal. But we're just flexing at this point. Then we banish the Solitaire with the Shogun Saga. That brings out the Squire Saga. We're going to pop that other back row. All sorts of madness, opponent scoops, great duels, free to play guys. Alright, here's new Yugi. We're going second. Still doing phone replays, just waiting for that next bout of maintenance so Konami can really fix this. So we're starting with our, what is it, Tatsunekro? But we need some normal monsters to use the Tatsunekro, so we're going to go with the traditional play of setting a Spectral Sword with the Belisa Squad. Our opponent's got a Galaxy Cyclone said Belisa Squad, so we're going to use it, get rid of our Spectral Sword, destroy his monster. Continue on the duel. Now we can use our Tatsu Necro. We use him with the Spirit Master to make a Squire Saga. We hit a Dark Magical Circle. We hit a Robe earlier. What we destroyed was a Magician's Robe. So our opponent has no back row. We get to normal summon our level 2 tuner and do nothing with him. We do have a level 9 synchro that we could use, let's say our... Alright, here we are fighting new Seto Kaima. Going second, looking for that dual level up. Our opponent's using a life point boost. Okay, we're starting with the Squire Saga, so you know life is easy. And of course, add more Squire Sagas if you had them. Using some of our interesting traps here though. So we're gonna normal summon the Squire Saga, bring out our level 2, level Aug right into our Sun Saga. That gives us 3500 monster with Inherit Protection. We're gonna set our Hollow Life Barrier just because our boy's using heroes and he's using uh, anime hero traps, all sorts of stuff. So he uses that to special summon an alias after one hero gets destroyed. Normal summons Keeper of the Dragon Magic. Searches that Neos Fusion. Now he's gonna use that Neos Fusion for a Brave Neos, but we're not afraid. We get our Synchro Spirit. It's not really gonna use that because we just banished all our monsters. Squire Saga lets us help. We use Makashi Return to search our tuner. We set Solitaire to the grave. Now we can normal summon that tuner we just searched. Synchro Summon into our level 8. Shogun Saga, guys. So now we have the Mayakashi in the graveyard, so the next time we special summon our level 9, we're also going to special summon a Squire Saga by banishing the Solitaire. We swing into the Brave Neos and swing into the Brave Neos again to destroy him past the Neos Fusion. Our boy's left with just some level 4 monsters. Uses a mass change though on the alias, that's going to give him Mass Hero Koga. He banishes into the Sun Saga. Probably should have banished into the Squire Saga and swung for lethal there, now that I'm noticing. I let him destroy our Sun Saga, guys. That way we can Miracle Wake. When you Miracle Wake Sun Saga, he still gets his effect. We return the Synchro to the deck 
destroy his big monster. Get a counter gate just for safe measure. Normal summon our samurai. Use samurai's effect. Banish our squire saga. Use her effect just because. Swing him to that boy. Banish him. Plenty of lethal, but opponent scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a crawler. Going second. I do believe this is actually ancient gear, so you really don't see that too, too often anymore. Here we're starting with our Tatsu Necro. We also have a Samurai and a Spirit Master. Our opponent's starting with Gear Town. He's Gold Sarking for the Genuine Search, my lad. And then we get our Squire Saga top deck, but we're still gonna go with the Tatsu Necro plays into the Squire Saga. We even used our Squire to gain her effect. He's gonna floodgate us. That's okay. We use Squire's effect to throw away one of our Spirit Masters. We keep our level 3 tuner. So now we're gonna normal summon that Spirit Master. He's gonna get hit by a floodgate. So we're not gonna special summon a tuner, we're just gonna special summon our Samurai and get swinging on this boy. But if you thought the stalling was over, you thought wrong, you get hit with a Sphere Boy. Now his search actually worked. Here comes the Breaker. Normal summons it, but we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna hit him with our Samurai Saga, banishing a Spirit Master. That'll destroy our boy before he's able to destroy a Gear Town, and our opponent must wait another turn. So here we're gonna use our Solemnity to banish our Samurai to dump a Solitaire. Then we search said Solitaire into our hand, normal summon the Solitaire, Use the Solitaire to get rid of one of our Floodgated monsters, bring out a Tuner, level Log to a level 9. Since we only have the level 3, but we do have level 9 plays, guys, there you go, a Mayakashi monster. Swinging for 2900, finally getting some damage on this boy. And clearing the field of those Floodgated monsters. Here he gets the normal Summoner Reactor Dragon, swing over our Mayakashi. Now he gets to destroy his gear town, bring out another monster, another reactor drains, destroys our squire saga, gets to destroy one of our back row. Here, we're gonna start with the spectral sword guys, we banish spirit master, we're already popping. Boom, there's one. Now we're gonna normal summon our spectral shade. That special summons a Spirit Master and a level 2 tuner. That's gonna synchro into our Shogun Saga. You know he's bigger than a Reactor Dragon once you use that effect. We banish the Samurai Saga to lower that boy even further and swing for a big, big 3k over an ancient deck. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Jaden Ubel, and that's gonna be a very popular character coming up in this tournament. It's probably gonna be a character. I'm going to be using, because I am going to go for some Neos action with the Structure deck. Here we have a handful of Tuners and a Solitaire, so we're going to make the old fashioned set the Spectral Sword play. Our opponent only sets one back row. We're going to Normal Summon our Solitaire, level Og, and just go into a nice simple Sun Saga. Now we're freely able to swing for 3500 damage, our boy's down to 500 and he's mad guys. So here we go, he's gonna normal summon a Keeper of Dragon Magic. Throws away a Poly for a Neos Fusion. Now uses that Neos Fusion, dumps an Alias along with his Neos. So he's full heroes, sets two more back row, and all he can do is pass this turn. Top deck, another Spirit Master, so we're gonna use his effect. Our boy tries to stop us with the Hero Blast, but that wouldn't stop our effect, and it's definitely not going to destroy us, thanks to Sun Saga's effect of protecting our Shiranui monsters. So now we're going to Special Summon that level 3 from our hand, stride it straight into a Squire Saga. Now we're going to use our Spectral Sword from the Grave, banish a Spirit Master, that's a Samurai Saga. Our boy's going to use a what would seem like a preemptive mass change, since we're just destroying his field spell with our Spirit Master, but uh... He has to use it to uh, get this boy to protect him from damage. Now, I used the whole life barrier 
to just get that monster in the graveyard so Sun Saga can protect our monsters. He uses his Dark Bribe, which lets us draw a Belisa Squad. Didn't want to negate that spell. Hall of Life Barrier wasn't really going to do much for us this turn. But here we banish our Spirit Master, and then just swing for lethal nice and easy, guys. So, this deck's still strong for you to play, guys. You just have to really think a little harder, make your plays a little different, and just use the best cards you have, guys. So don't think you have to go piece by piece. I'm just showing you all the different support. And there's even more, guys. There's Dragon's Mirror. There's all sorts of zombie support. So keep trying. Keep mixing around. I definitely suggest Shira Nui if you're returning and you're free to play and you're trying to be competitive in this latest tournament. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And thanks for watching, guys.